Hi guys, in this video we will be handling conditionals in SQL. Now, what are conditionals for? Well, sometimes I need to create fields whose content is based on certain conditions. Let's take an example here. I would like to have a new field called country and this field country is based on the nationality. So for instance, if American, then under country I would like to have US. If British, if nationality is British, then I would like to have under country UK and so on. So how do I go about it? Well, let's take nationality off. I don't need that. And when you, when you work with conditions SQL, you have, to, you have to use the keyword case. And you end the whole thing with end. And now you can decide, do I leave it like this, then this, this, this whole entity or field would not have a name. So that's not very helpful. So you would have here like nothing. So in order to name this field, you just add as, and then the name of that field, in this case, oh, sorry, in this case, um, uh, country. So that's, that's the, 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 the way you do your uh, conditionals. Now, within that, within the case and the end, all your conditions come in. So for instance, we said like all Americans should have US in country. So that's the first condition when nationality equal to American, then US. If I save that and run that query, then you see all of them are now US. And if I go through the data, you see but the rest, they just got null. What does null mean? Well, null means no value, nothing. There is nothing. Why? Well, it's very simple. We didn't cover them in our condition. We said nationality American, then you're US. And everybody else, well, nothing. They don't get anything. Now, in order to cover everybody else, we need... Uh, for the keyword, which is the else, and everybody else, let's say, gets a hyphen. And if I save that and run that query, now you see I have gotten rid, gotten rid of the nulls. I just have this hyphen in there. Right. Now, when you work with conditionals, and that applies to all programming languages, including SQL, what if I want to give here multiple conditions. Well, then I would need to use one of two keywords, and and or. And these two, or one of them, would allow me to attach multiple conditions. So let's 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 uh, take an example. Let me add the field nation here that we had. And let's look for, uh, because I know in the data there are two, there are a couple of guys. Oh, I just inserted in the wrong place here. It should be here, nation. And I know there are a couple of guys uh, who's, who have double nations. So uh, we're a nation, and th their, their nation is separated by a hyphen. So um, let's go nation, like, and Let's look for a hyphen, uh, and there we go, right. Save it, and let's run the query, and, uh, oh, nationality, that's better. Nationality, right, and save it, and run that query, and, oh, no, now it should work, right. So there we go. We have these two guys, and one is American Italian, and one is Argentine Italian. And how do I deal with these? Well, let's tackle the first one. Um, now here, I need to have this guy US as well. So how do I do that? Well, there are multiple ways of doing it. One thing is you can add another when down here, and say when nationality American Italian, then US, and let's keep the tabbing right, save that, and if I run that query, then you see I get the US, that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is 
to put it all together in this uh, query, in this condition, sorry. And the way I combine it is, well, I've got one of two choices. What do I use, or or and? Let's try and, and let me copy that. And just add Italian. And now what we have here, let me, I, what I can do is just break it. So that makes it easier to read. So now what I have here is when nationality American and nationality American Italian, does that, does that right? Well, that means the guy is going to have both in nationality, American and American Italian. Well, nobody has something like that. So definitely or is here the wrong keyword. I would need, uh, sorry, definitely and is the wrong keyword. I would need or because with or then you've got to have one of these two you either got to be american or american italian to get the us and if i run that and you see i'm getting the us now with this guy here this is a well-known name and this guy is actually seen or should be seen as an italian so in this case I need to add a further when. Let me put that in one line so it makes it easier to read. We don't need to see the details now anymore of that. And uh, actually, uh, yeah, let me start here. So let's do a next when condition. And the when condition here is what? Well, if the surname is uh, De Tommaso, And nationality is Argentine, Argentine Italian. Then Italian. Okay, and let's just do a line break. So that's the way it looks. When surname De Tommaso and nationality argentine italian then it so here we need an ad because the guy is got to fulfill both first he's got to have the right surname and then he's got to have the right nationality and then we know oh that's the guy we mean so he's done it so save that and run that query and you see that's the way it goes so you see here uh, that's the way um uh, you work with case uh, with case and with conditions uh, in in sql and what you put after the events, now here we have just static values like US or IT, but you actually can have calculations behind it then. That is also valid for the, for the else. Let me just reduce the, um, so what you put after the events, that could be anything, could be calculations, uh, could be a complete query. So for instance, you could have uh, parents and within those parents, you could have a complete query. Uh, the same thing is valid for else. You could here also have some calculations or some, Query. What is important is when you're using queries uh, that that query only returns one value because remember this all this this value has to has to fit in that field country. If your query either here or here is delivering more or returning more than one value, uh, you'd get a problem in SQL because those multiple values do not fit in that field country. And like I said, you could have in one then you could have a query in another then here you could have, uh, you know, a static text in a third uh, uh, condition, you could have a calculation and so on. So each each uh, condition is totally independent from the others. And they're all enclosed or encased uh, within the case statement. And all of them, all of these contents are then returned to that field you just created with that case statement.